Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question. Your SSIS package consists of multiple data flow tasks. You need to execute only first two data flow tasks. How would you do that? So let's go to SSDT and take a look. This is a very common scenario when your package is running in a, a production uh, environment and your package failed and uh, for you are debugging it and you do not want to run the entire package but you want to run maybe only one data flow task and uh, that, that's how you want to troubleshoot what exactly happened or what went wrong when this data flow was running and it threw the error. So to, uh, to do that, uh, if you want to, uh, let's say you want to run only this data flow task, the very first one, and uh, then you want to also execute uh, for each loop. So how you would you disable these ones? So you can click on any of the tasks here and say disable, and uh, that's how these tasks uh, will be disabled. So if uh, you have disabled the, the uh, second uh, data flow task here and uh, the execute SQL task, what, what is going to happen? So this is going to run, the first data flow is going to run uh, and then our package will jump to the uh, for each loop container. So you can also disable the entire container and uh, anything whatever uh, task uh, such as execute sql task or any other task whatever is uh, in the for each loop container that will be also disabled same is uh, true for the sequence container if you have multiple tasks sitting inside the sequence container and you will disable sequence container it will disable all those tasks but one thing you can also do once you are inside the container let's say we are in the sequence container and uh, we do not want to disable the all of uh, the tasks here so we have the option as well so let's say we have data flow task here if i want to um, disable only one data flow and leave two of them as it is so that that's a possibility i can click here and disable entire thing and then go back here and uh, enable uh, one of them but see it's not letting me enable uh, this way so I have to enable entire thing, but I can go back uh, and uh, disable uh, one by one. I can disable this. I can disable this one. So that that's how I can uh, disable the um, task inside uh, the container as well. And uh, if I want to use one of them, I can use that. So th this is a very uh, um, good feature especially for the debugging and uh, that really helps you know you, sometimes your packages are lengthy they take for hour three hours four hours run the entire thing and get to that point uh, uh, by, by using that this uh, enable and disable uh, we can uh, get to th that task and debug uh, or troubleshoot package quickly thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you next video